Death Triangle versus the Elite for the Trios title. Very much to talk about here. They had a <laughs> tremendous match. Of course there is. Uh, yeah. So I was... We talked about this on Dynamite. The, the reveal of the Elite was underwhelming. And this started, and I was like in a funk. Like, man, they could have done so much more with this. And then the Bucks on their Twitter bio had noted they were rising above the noise and confusion. And they come out to carry on my wayward son by Kansas. So if you guys don't know, they were going to uh, trademark Wayward Son, but it just mm-hmm. was not going to work. I mean, yeah. they abandoned that. But Expensive. apparently they had uh, used this song for their backyard wrestling group uh, like decades ago. And so uh, for those people that thought, oh, you know, it's a shot at CM Punk, listen to the lyrics, et cetera, et cetera. Unless they were taking a shot at CM Punk uh, in the future 20 years ago, uh, this was just, uh, I mean, you know. Maybe they thought now's the time. But regardless, they had used this song decades ago as part of their uh, wrestling deal. It will be their music as a trio. All I know is if you heard this song and we're not singing along as they came to the ring and then continue to sing along as the match continued, we just can't be friends. That's just all there is to it. Well, Brian doesn't know the words. I guess so uh, Vinny's lost a lot of friends well, tonight. Well, time to educate him. <laughs> I was so Oh, never stop hide. it. Stop it. No, you're high. the one worried about being here all fucking night. You're going to sing right. this goddamn song? Review the match. All right. The match is freaking awesome. Six great wrestlers having a great match. Uh, the, the the elite just being on this show. I mean, they had the best match in the show, clearly. Uh, the, 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 uh, they, ring, they elevate the entire program. Penta, who's always been awesome, but has never exactly been the uh, bodybuilder type. He's wrestling shirtless for the first time I can remember. He looked great. The announcer's talking about his improved physique. And uh, it, it's one of those thing, matches where I started taking notes and realized I had written 25,000 words. And so I, I stopped at some point. But uh, everyone hit his 1,000 moves. Everything looked great. They had a, uh, the, the, the Lucha Libre deal was three one-on-one matches going on at the same time with Omega versus Pac and Nick Jackson versus Ray Phoenix and Penta versus Matt Jackson. And uh, everyone gets a chance to run wild. Both teams run wild as units. There's a spot where the uh, Death Triangle hits triple stereo to- I guess it's stereo triple tombstone simultaneously, which starts a parade of finishers. Everyone hits a big move. Kenny survives the Black Arrow. The big spot is, as is being a theme on this show, Pac wanted Ray Phoenix to cheat and tossed the ring hammer or the bell hammer, whatever you call it, to uh, Phoenix. But Phoenix didn't want to use it. He threw it back out of the ring. The match continues. Phoenix finds himself draped in the ropes. Pac runs over, plants the la- uh, hammer into his fist, almost against his will. And when Kenny Omega lifts Phoenix up to do the one wing and angel, Phoenix has two choices. He can either take this move and get pinned and die, or he can hit this guy with a hammer and pin him and retain the titles. And he turned to the dark side. And he hit Kenny with this hammer. He got the pin. They're still champions. And awesome, 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 awesome match. I uh, love the finish because Phoenix did a bad thing, but it wasn't like he did a bad thing. It's like the MJF when when Regal slid him the knucks, as we're going to get to. You know, the ref was distracted. MJF was not in serious danger in that moment. He got thrown the knucks, and then I'm going to use these knucks on this guy. Whereas with Phoenix, it is exactly as you said. He didn't want to use this hammer. He ended up in a position where his choices were die or use the hammer. And he decided he didn't want to die, so he used the hammer. And he got the win, but he still wasn't thrilled with his decision afterwards. No. So it was it was a very, very clever way to do it. You 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 know, it got a huge pop, by the way, because I think everybody expected that the uh, that the elite were going to uh, to win the titles back, and we got a surprise finish here with Kenny getting pinned. But overall, I thought the match was great, so great, in fact, that you know we've been we've been watching Dynamite for the last couple of months, and as a result of the fight and the suspensions and folks disappearing and storylines having to be changed and such and such. Shit kind of went off the rails here and there on the television show. Not all of it. I mean, the shows were still generally good, but shit had gone off the rails. Man, when the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega came back and were wrestling, and this fucking crowd is going crazy, I thought, my God, this this is like, it feels like they're back. And they are back. And uh, fantastic match. It is now, that ended up being the first match in the best of seven, which we're going to get on television. 
And it'll be very interesting to see how they do various finishes, storylines through the seven matches, hammer, no hammer. I'm very excited for this. And I thought this match was great. It's really amazing when you bring back three guys and it feels like there's a breath of fresh air breathed into the company again. And, um, man, these guys put on one heck of a match. Pac is such a superstar. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but he is amazing. Um, that That's a guy you could, could build a whole company around. Um, I don't know exactly what happened to his nose. Brian, was it broken? Do you know? I don't know. But um, uh, no pun intended. A lot, of, he's a lot a t- of nose issues on the show last night. Yeah. Yeah. No no pun intended, but he's a tough bastard. <laughs> so I follow uh, Penta on Twitter. And yeah, like about a year ago, he started posting his gym efforts. And just to see how crazy he's gotten was really friggin' cool. And then yes. uh, uh, Don Callis on commentary. Kenny doesn't experience ring rust the way regular wrestlers do. Yeah, and then they go, Why? And he goes, he's a god. <laughs> they were like, oh, okay. And then the best part, for me at least, of like that 3X tombstone that happened was Kenny started it. The Bucks were coming in to do it. So Kenny is holding pack this entire time. Lucha Bros get into position. They're ready to go. And Kenny's still holding Pac. Then Pac flips it around. And then they do it. That was insane. That yeah, was insane, but then, like, wherever they all ended up, they ended up doing the triple tombstone, and then everybody fell on top of each other. Yeah. It was a <laughs> pile of bodies. Like, that probably felt great. Yeah, this match ruled. The hey. WWE legendary hey, joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry Erkerland? <laughs> where does beth phoenix shop online amazon the glamazon oh, yeah. yep no no I mean, no. <laughs> no that is the answer glamazon that's what i said <laughs> what? No, you said gramazon no i said uh, glamazon oh, there should be a gramazon <laughs> yeah gramazon actually you get, like, puppy you get pictures. it to you real slow If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.